Hello everyone, we will continue the advanced ABAP programming and in the previous two videos, we understood the concept of cursor. We have written the logic for the same. Now we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode so that it will make full clarity to us. So what I will do? I will put a break point on this 24 number line. I will run the program. Suppose I am giving the input 1 to 10. Now I will check in the database table first for 1 to 10 how many records are there. I am giving the input 1 to 10 for the order number. So I have 10 records in the database table. It means my fetch next cursor will execute five times, five times, because what the packet size we gave, we gave the packet size of two. I will go to execute. Desktop three, most preferable desktop. Firstly, I will put on the, I will double click on the cursor name. What is the cursor name? C. You can see what is the value of cursor as of now. The value of cursor is zero. It means the cursor has not opened yet. If the value is zero, it means cursor has not opened. If the value is one, it means the cursor has been opened means 1 means true, 0 means false. 1 means open, 0 means close. Now, if I will simply, simply execute, if I want to execute this as it is one line, so I will do F6. So we open the cursor for this particular select query. Now, if I will show you the internal table, LT underscore data, it has zero records as of now because we covered previously also. We just opened the cursor. It does not mean that it bring data from the database table. If it is bringing data from the database table at this point of time, it is a totally violation of our concept itself. What is our concept? We need to bring that data in chunks or packets and we gave the packet size after that only. Now we will move next. Now we are on 27 number line. I will go for now F6. Now I am on 28th number line. Now system will simply simply go for database table it will bring the data of two order number means it will go for a packet size of two now here one important system variable will give you more clarity and the name of the system variable is dbcnt database count we all know whenever some variable starts with SY, it means it is a system variable itself. Now, what is the significance of this system variable? It will always return the number of records which are coming from database table. Suppose 10 records are coming. So this variable will be 10. If 20 records are coming, this variable will be equal to 20. So it always, always return the number of records coming from the database table. Now, at this point of time, we are bringing only two records. So this database variable will be equal to 2. I'm doing F6. Have you seen? The value of db count is 2. Now, two records came into this internal table. Previously, number of records were 0. Now, we have the order number 6 and 7. Do not confuse why SAP has not bring 1 or 2 order number. This is on SAP formula. 
if later we want to later we want to display from 1 to 10 we can sort the internal table as of now our target is yes is it bringing that data of two records yes because we gave the packet size of two now size sub r c zero yes because we are able to bring that data of two records now we are simply simply appending that data to which internal table lt final lt final has zero records as of now now we are appending that data from one internal table to another internal table and you can see we have two records appended to this internal table now we are refreshing lt data after refresh in LT data, how many records? Z. Now, this loop, do loop will go for second iteration now. That's why we put that do loop because it should not be the case. It fetch only two records because we gave the input 1 to 10. So, this do loop should continue unless and until there is nothing to fetch after that. Now, I am doing F6. Now this fetch again will execute and now it will bring two more records. Now you can see in this internal table, previously we have six and seven. Now we have three and four. And now you can see size sub RC is zero. It means this fetch is successfully executed. Now we will append this data to LT final. Now you can clearly, clearly understand why, why we appended that data to a new internal table so that we can get all the records at the last. Once the append will execute, you can see we have four records in the internal table. If we will not append it, LT data will only, only display the last two records but we want to display all the records. So we are parallelly appending it to new internal table. Now I will go for third iteration of the do loop. You can see we have third iteration of the do loop. Now two new records came into the internal table, five and eight order number. And if you can see psi db count is 6, 2 plus 2 plus 2. This is third iteration. So total, what is the value of psi db count? It is 6. Now, you can see we are appending it to our final internal table. So our final internal table has 6 records now. Now, do loop will go for the fourth iteration. Again, it will fetch. Now you can see we have two more new records, 9 and 10 order number. And what is the value of psi db count? It is 8 now. Eight. Now I will go for next. We are appending it to lt underscore final. And you can see in lt underscore final, now we have 8 records. Now, do loop will continue for the fifth iteration. Now, again, we are bringing two no new records, order number one and two. And what is the value of psi db count? It is 10. Psi sub rc value is zero. We are appending to new internal table. And you can see we have 10 records in the new internal table. And now we will simply, simply proceed further. Now next is the important point. Now again, it gone in the inside the do loop. But after that, there is nothing to fetch from the database table. We want order number 1 to 10. And we fetched all the order numbers. So in that case, what will happen? Whenever this fetch next cursor will execute, what is the value of size sub rc? You can see the value of size sub rc is other than zero. It means there is nothing to fetch. 
So system will simply simply go to which part else part and it will exit from the do loop. And this is what we want. If there is nothing to fetch, it should come out from the loop. Now we exited from the do loop. Now you can see as of now the cursor value is one because the cursor is still open. Now whenever we will go for this execution of this statement, you will see cursor value is again set to zero because we close the cursor. Now we have 10 records into this final internal table and we are displaying all those 10 records using the right statement. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we understood each and everything in the debugging mode. First important learning, if cursor value is equal to zero, it means cursor has not opened yet. If cursor value is one, it means cursor has opened. We learned one more system variable, psi dbc and d, database count. It will always, always return the number of records which are coming from the database. Then we simply studied why, why we are appending the data to new internal table because in this always the new records are coming. So we appended each and everything to the new inter internal table. And if there's nothing to fetch, we simply exited from the do loop using the exit statement. So this is our full topic of cursor, how we can use the cursor to fetch data in terms of packets and chunks and most, most important topic, one of the most important topic from the project perspective. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.